Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to find the answer to these four subtraction problems of positive and negative numbers. Only, uh, I'm not going to show you the rules quite yet. What I'm going to show you is how I want you to think about subtracting when we are doing subtraction of positive and negative numbers. Um, in, in an earlier video, uh, you were thinking about balloons and sandbags, and balloons would raise us up, and sandbags would lower us down. And we are going to do the exact same thing, only this time we are going to be removing balloons and removing sandbags from the expression. And uh, so we've got a number line over here, and let's take a look at this first problem. And in our number line, I get to decide where zero is going to be. And I'm going to choose zero to be, I don't know, right here. So here's where the zero is on the number line. And our basket, you remember, is always going to start at the zero. Now positive three means three balloons. And those three balloons cause our basket, one, two, three, to go up three units. So that's where we are right now. And then when it says sub subtract positive 8. Subtracting positive 8 means we are going to take away 8 balloons. And if we're going to take away 8 balloons, what is that going to cause the basket to do? That's going to cause the basket to go down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 units. And if we go down 8 units, that leaves us 5 units below the clouds because remember, this is where the clouds are, and uh, so that, that answer is negative 5. Now let's take a look at the next example. Oh, let's do this example right here, and as always, I get to decide where the zero is going to be, and on this problem, um, let's put the zero way the heck up at the top, just because. And so that's where our zero is, so that's where the clouds are. And this says, start off with five sandbags. So we're going to start off with five sandbags, which is going to cause us to go down. One, two, three, four, five. So I'm now five units below the clouds. And this says, remove eight balloons. Well, just like in the previous example, when we removed eight balloons, we went down. This says, remove seven balloons. And so if we remove seven balloons, we're going to go down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So now we went down five and we went down seven more. We are now 12 units beneath the clouds way up here. And so the answer is negative 12. <clears throat> now over here, we're going to start, oh, and I don't know where to put the zero. Let's put the zero right here. <clears throat> so this says, we start off with four sandbags. Well, four sandbags places us one, two, three, four, four units below the clouds. And this says to remove, because that's what the subtraction's all about, remove nine sandbags. Well, what's going to happen if we remove nine sandbags? Well, sandbags weigh us down. So if we remove sandbags, that's going to cause the basket to go up. So removing nine sandbags is going to cause the basket to go up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine units. And so the answer is one, two, three, four, five. We are now five units above the clouds. You all with me on that? And then the last example, oh, let's say we are going to start, oh, let's make the zero right here. So that's where we're going to start, and it says start with five balloons. So those balloons, one, two, three, four, five, lift us up. And this says we are going to remove four sandbags. And if we remove four sandbags, that's going to cause us to go up. So we're going to go up four more units, one, two, three, four. So we went up five for this. We went up four more for this. So the answer is positive 9. And for the purposes of this video, the way we're going to be subtracting is, and the way we're going to understand how to subtract is to think about balloons and sandbags, and subtraction means we are going to remove
whatever we are subtracting. Removing sandbags causes us to go up. Removing balloons causes us to go down.